Hey guys, Kevin McDonald from Lifetime Performance, coming at you from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about balance, and particularly balance in the golf swing. Now there's a test we do when we screen everybody for the first time, and it's a basic test, you've probably done it before. What we do is we ask people to stand on one foot, and we want to see if they can hold the position for about 10 seconds with their eyes open. They can do it for 10 seconds, eyes open, then we ask them to close it, and then we want to see them again do another 10 seconds with the eyes closed. However, most people have a really hard time just holding it for those 10 seconds. So I want to show you a couple drills you can do on your own, in your house, that sort of thing. You can actually do them on the range too or in the gym to help with your balance. Now one of the things we see in the golf swing when balance is very poor is that inability to get into the follow through posting up on the left side. Obviously this position requires some balance. So a lot of times we'll see this. The right foot will stay in contact with the ground because the brain doesn't want to allow yourself essentially to go into an unstable position. Two feet on the ground is obviously more stable than this follow through position. So we want to try to train balance. So what we can do here, we have a DBS board and we also have a half foam roller. You could use a two by four, that would work too. But for the point of this, this lesson here, we're going to use this DBS board here. So what we're going to do is put it on the ground we're going to stand on it. We want to make sure that the board is directly underneath the balls of our feet because we want to maintain our, our center of gravity over our base of support in the golf swing. Essentially, the forces should move through the middle of the feet because the middle of the feet here are essentially made for rotation. So that's what we're going to try to practice. So we're standing on the board here. We're going to put the club across the chest. And all we're going to practice doing here is rotating into a backswing here. So we're a little loaded on the right side. And then rotating into the left side here. And we're going to repeat that about 10 times to each side. Obviously, if we have a hard time balancing, the tendency is going to be want to want to fall forward or back. Okay, now we can also use a half foam roller for that. You can put it on the roll side here. That's going to be a little bit tougher. We stand on that and we do the same drill. The 2 by 4 is going to be a little bit easier. This would be a bit of a progression. Now, that's great. That's going to help balance a lot, but what about those of you who have issues keeping your weight back in your swing? In other words, when we're taking that club bed back, we're coming on our toes, or an impact, we're coming through our toes. Well, we're going to use the same board, and this time we're going to put our heels up on the board with our toes on the floor. Now what this is doing is actually pushing us forward. So the idea being when we practice the drill of rotating to the right side, we're trying to feel the weight sit back. And we're, again, we're going to do about 10 repetitions to each side, trying to push back, and we're, then we're going to step off and take some swings and it should feel really easy to stay back. You shouldn't feel that tendency to to kind of shift forward because effectively what we're doing with the board is feeding the problem. So you have to work hard to rectify the problem. And the idea is we want you to not have to think about staying back, but it should feel natural. That's why we're doing that drill. So if your balance is suspect, try these two drills. You can do them in your home or in the gym. It should really help a lot.